Hey everyone, I'm Monkey Chaos. This is Jeep Game Review. Every week we look at a new release in Steam, costing $5 or less. Today we're looking at Spear Hunters Infinite Horde. It came out uh, May 25th. It's $4.99 uh, from the Steam store. You're, you are the spirit hunters in this action roguelite. Slay huge waves of monsters and harvest their souls, forever increasing power. Unlock many playable characters, abilities, maps, and more through a deep progression system. So it looks like another magic survival of vampire survivors, uh, but it got a kind of cool art style. Let's check it out. All right, so you get to choose your starting class and your starting ability. We're gonna go with the Sorcerer's Fireball to start, see how that works out. So we got a map, we got challenge levels. I don't know what these icons are, we'll figure that out later. I also don't know what the controls are actually. Can I use a controller? Yes, okay. Uh, I imagine there's nothing because um, your abilities just fire off, it looks like. We'll see as we get more abilities. All right. Uh, Arrow, scythe. Is there not a description for these? No, so you just need to know what they do. I know those three just because those are the starting ones, but if there are other abilities. Uh, nothing so far, we'll just upgrade. Yeah, you know what, the Spears isn't that great because it just kind of seems like it randomly goes places. So let's get something with a little more control. Like the scythe was in front of you. So that's a little more useful. Uh, let's see, increase attack size, damage, it will go damage again. So the only complaint I've seen about this game is that it's just a really slow start and kind of grindy. It's most of the skills and upgrades and stuff are locked behind the uh, skill tree. But we'll see how true that actually is or if that's just people being very impatient. I do love the art style. It is a very cool art style. That alone uh, wins at some points for me. I just have to stand in this circle long enough, it appears, to unlock the chest. That's kind of cool. Um, make that bigger. Whoops. Cool. I don't... I'm assuming the runes and stuff are for... Um, upgrading the skill tree. Ah, that was dumb. So I guess I'm locked to just these three abilities until we get into the skill tree and can start getting some other stuff. Um, what is this? Oh, it's a shop. Cool. Uh, medium stack of crystals. What do I have? I have 170, so I'm not going to worry about this right now. I don't know what that was. It sounded bad. <coughs> oh, we got a boss. Okay. First boss at the four minute mark. Doesn't seem super threatening. He's barely even going for me. Oh, there's... Okay. It's just... It's big, but it's not threatening. I was kind of thinking I was going to be able to... Oh. I didn't even notice it's got the same timer. That, uh... Treasure chest has. Uh, damage, size, yeah, damage. Okay, we got some gems. Uh, damage. Okay, he's dead, so we've got another chest. Ah! Alright, we're probably gonna die soon. Ah, lame. Alright, that was a little sloppy, but that was the first run. One boss down. I was just killed 1,658. Alright. Uh, let's go to the Oracle. I'm assuming that's the... Yeah, there we go. Unlock a different map. Ability unlocked, ability unlocked, ability unlocked, ability unlocked. Hero unlocked, hero unlocked. Okay, so you need crystals to unlock the bigger um, unlocks that actually do something, and then you need runes just to unlock all these tiny stat increases that lead to the abilities. So, can't unlock any new abilities yet. They're all too expensive. So we'll just get a couple stat points and call it a day. Alright, going with the sorceress again. She just seems better than the mage. Her ability makes uh, more of the blue experience uh, orbs drop, or flames, or whatever you want to call them. Whereas the mage, you just get healing on cast of spells or on upgrading certain spells. 
I would just rather level up faster than uh, worry about healing. So we got a different boss this time for the first one, just a big whirlwind that shoots little whirlwinds. And uh, I've gotten a couple of uh, speed upgrades on my fireball, which is making it pretty badass right now. Ah! See, I don't see how any of the other, at least the starting abilities, can compare with the fireball. This is <laughs> a little ridiculous at this point. I'm just standing here, letting the mob around me because it's just murdering absolutely everything. I'm sure I'll have to move at some point, but uh, not yet. It definitely seems like upgrading one or two abilities uh, and ignoring the rest is a good way to at least start. Obviously, this is only my second run, so I don't fully know what I'm talking about, but so far it seems like this works pretty well. Uh, okay, this is new. We're just stuck in an arena with a bug. Yep. Oh, and it's decreasing in size. That's rude. This is kind of cool. Nope. Ah, oh, Ooh, he hit. Hard. Why am I... S Whoa! Alright, I just got a whole lot of stuff. Oh! Okay, you can actually finish the level. That's different. I wasn't expecting that. So this cost 20. That's unlocked. Hunter, when you're fighting the horde, you will find allies to help you along the way. Look for them. Got it. Increase base damage, plus one. Mining speed. Increase magnet. Here and move speed. Digs for loot every 10 seconds. That's pretty cool. Alright, let's get a new map. Alright, trying out a new map. Just to see. Got different tile set, different uh, enemies. The chickens are, are pretty good. Those eyeballs are great. Oop, I'm just getting real sloppy now. It's distracted by those chickens. They're, they're pretty good. Ah! Alright, so that's it for Spirit Hunters. Overall, I really like it. Um... I think the complaints about it being too slow to unlock are unwarranted. I think those are just people being impatient, um, yeah, which is fine. I mean, if it's not your thing to wait around for upgrades and you feel like it's too much, there's plenty of other games to play, so you don't need to like this one or play this one. I personally, I like it. I don't think the unlocks are too slow. Uh, I was enjoying the gameplay loop, and I mean, there is a ton of stuff to unlock in here. Some of it is pretty um, expensive. I know, I see, yeah, like this one's 150. So I don't know like what these ones on the edge are, um, but you can get a good amount of crystals. I think the, the one that I completed, I got like 90 something crystals. So, I mean, that's not that bad. I mean, okay, there is, there is a lot in here. So, I mean, if you're looking at all of this and being like, oh, I can't, you know, unlock all of this in like 10 hours of play. Uh, I mean, that's true, but if you're liking the game enough that you want to play it that much, then I mean, okay it gives you more to play towards i don't see that as a problem and as far i don't i didn't see anything anywhere it's not like there's a cash shop somewhere where they're trying to slow down the progression and force you to buy things it's just that's the pace they decided to have the game be at totally fine as far as like magic survival or vampire survivors uh knockoffs i think this is a great one i love the art style i think it looks really good plays fine so overall thumbs up for me definitely recommend it worth checking out Especially if you like games in this genre and just want to try something something different, this one's pretty good. All right, so that's it for Cheap Game Review this week. We're looking at a new release in Steam, costing $5 or less every week. If that sounds interesting to you, please hit those like and subscribe buttons. Jump down in the comments, let me know what cheap games you're playing. If you played this one, what you think of it. If there's any other good uh, Magical Survivor, Vampire Survivors uh, knockoffs that you've tried that I should check out. So that is it for now. I am Lucky Chaos, and I will catch you next time. Later.